San Diego is staying in the red tier on the state's reopening roadmap. The current county case rate is seven per 100,000 residents. Earlier today, there were worries that we could slip back into the purple tier by next week. But as News 8's Brandon Lewis reports tonight, the discovery of a data discrepancy changed that for now. At Carlo and Barbara Lee, the county says there was a discrepancy in the data that's used to calculate our case rate, specifically the number of cases. The county managed to successfully argue that, so that's why we are going to remain in the red tier this week with no chance of going to the purple. But it's important to remember, a 7 is still a high case rate. The adjusted case rate actually has been adjusted down. San Diego narrowly avoided a countdown to the most restrictive purple tier. The state initially calculated us to have an adjusted case rate of 7.1, but there was a late dispute over the number of cases that the county won. That changed the rate to an even 7, the maximum allowed under the red tier. Each week we sort of walk in and wonder whether we're going to be, which side of the threshold that we're going to be on. My hope is that as they identify um, outbreaks that they're continuing to do a tremendous amount of testing, building up their resources around contact tracing and supportive isolation. Cases are still rising and we could have another nail biter next week. The focus will also be on hospitals. San Diego recorded some of the lowest COVID-19 patients, but the state forecasts an increase of 46% over the next month based on today's statewide case rate. We know that if the case numbers themselves are going up, we can predict in three to four weeks that we're going to see hospital increases as well. San Diego needs its rate to get below a four to move into the orange tier. It has never even gotten below a five, and there is no official projection on how long it could take to further loosen restrictions. We don't have the crystal ball. I don't know when Orange County or San Diego County will indeed enter yellow, but as I said earlier, I think there's lots of work we can do together, uh, both state, local, business leaders, community leaders, individuals, uh, to do what we can to make sure that we reduce transmission throughout our county. Even though there is no chance for us to move into the purple tier next week, when the state looks at our numbers again, if it is above a seven, that would then start a countdown to potentially putting us into the purple later on this month. Carlo and Barbara Lee. New numbers just in from the county show a drop in coronavirus cases today. County health officials are reporting 265 new cases, more than 100 fewer in each of the past two days. 3% of the more than 9,000 tests came back positive. Five new community outbreaks were reported, including one in a school and another in a faith-based setting. There have been 30 outbreaks in the past week. Four new deaths were also reported today. That total now stands at 857.